Christian Nakabo, Akwaba, welcome, bienvenue. Karibu sana, the nice today. Karibu sana, Alafia. The African Ancestral Manuscript Jellybot Channel keeps on going. We are going to Sankofa to take you back to our tradition so that you can uplift yourself and not start at zero again. We need to take it to the Akashic Records. This story I'm going to tell you is about who I was in my previous existence. It's going to be very personal to my heart. I'm writing a book about it right now called The Shield of Greatness. And I'm going to talk about this person right now. Before we get into that, let's go into the Sankofa piece. Broken Cola Nuts in our grandmother's grave. Pick it up. It's everywhere available online from Amazon to Walmart online, walmart.com, Barnes and Nobles, Target, wherever books are sold. The book which I'm basing this channel on is the African Ancestral Manuscript, All the Great Ancestors. The other day we talked about, yesterday we talked about Hampatiba, the great Fulani scholar. Today we're talking about me and my previous existence as Senmut, who was the architect of the queen who declared herself as king, the queen Hatshepsut. So it's a wonderful story. Eel! Ow! Wandeya Senmut Binde. Senmut was a comedic ancient Egyptian architect and government official who lived during the era of the 18th dynasty in Kemet. That's the rule of Hatshepsut. He was a polymath who had multiple talents, and he used his talents to manifest his great genius. Senmut was the son of the comedic intellectuals and the persons of Ramos and Hatnofret. His name actually meant the healer of the great mother, and it, this was perfectly in line with his destiny. Initially, during the reign of Tehutimes II, Senmut was given the title of steward of the god's wife and also the title of steward of the king's daughter. As an owner of this title, he was a close associate with Hatshepsut, teaching her the way of the world and cosmology and leadership skills. Due to his great work in this position, he became highly trusted by Hatshepsut and he was her confidant. When Tehutimes trans second transition, Hatshepsut was given regency over Kemet and eventually went on to become its full ruler after her husband, who was Tehutimes the third, sorry, Te Teotimus the second transition, because Teotimus the, met the first was her father. Shoshekamushekam. She took onto herself the title of king after her husband died, and Senmut was her vizier, or her prime minister, an architect. He built her that great Ben Ben Tekum. Senmut su supervised the quarrying transport and building of the twin Tekkens, obelisk or Ben Bens, at the time, the tallest buildings, the tallest man-made structures in the world. At the entrance of the Temple of Karnak, one still stands today, the other broke in two and toppled centuries ago. Karnak's Red Chapel, or Chapelle Rouge, was intended as a bark shrine and originally stood between the two obelisks. Senmut also built the Jesseru Jesseru Temple for Hatshepsut in the Valley of Kings. He defined and defended the honor of his queen, at any extent, and did all that was possible to construct great monuments that testified to her greatness, her great rule, as the first female absolute ruler of Kemet. Being advanced in age, Senmut transitioned to the ancestral realm peacefully in the late our story as one of the great architects and polymaths of all times, also one of the great defenders of one of the greatest queens who at that time needed to rule as a king. So he was known and he continues to be known as Senmut, the Great, the healer and protector of the health of the Great Mother, who was Hatshepsut. And her name means the house of the female ancestors. We give thanks to my previous existence as Senmut, protecting Hatshepsut. It was my pleasure. And we like to say, Ashe, Ashe, Ashe to Senmut. May he live again through me and through you, through all that we do to protect the Divine Mother, to grow her and to grow our health and to know who we truly are as polymaths, multi-purpose genius, multi geniuses. They can be architects, politicians, they can be doctors, philosophers, writers, um, scribes, educators, as he was the educator and tutor for Hatshepsut when she was growing up. So give thanks to 
Senmut, I have a picture of him and me and him on my page as the channel picture. Look, look for the resemblance and see that I have come back and it is my duty to protect the Great Mother once again. Ashe, 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 to the memory of Senmut, memory of myself. May you be blessed and forever guided by truth. Lala Salama, Udabu, Benui, Kerunefer, Chetepu, Denader. Peace and blessings to the heart that beats like Senmut continues. Let's continue to be scribes and architects. Make fractals to illuminate humanity with divine geometry, which finally leads us to understand the true synchronicity of Ma'at. Living truth is the most sacred and divine geometry we can ever do. I share.